In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called trigonometric functions and special angles, problem type three. We're asked to find the exact values for the trig functions listed below, with the first being the cosine of 855 degrees. So I'll start with that one. Since it is larger than 360 degrees, I'll start by just sketching where this ends up after 855 degrees. We know that one trip around would be 360 degrees. So that's the same as zero degrees. One more trip around would give us 720 degrees. And since we're looking for 855, I know that I'm not gonna need one more full revolution. The 855 minus the 720 degrees gives us 135 degrees. So from here I can go another 90 and 45 degrees. This would be our 135 degrees. So we can see here that the cosine of 855 degrees is coterminal. So it will have the same cosine value at 135 degrees. And from here, I can get the coordinates of the terminal point since it's exactly in the middle of this second quadrant, meaning there's 45 degrees here, 45 here. Then the coordinates of that point will have both an X and Y value of square root of two over two as a special angle. And since we're in this second quadrant, then the cosine will be the negative square root of two over two. With this being our cosine and this being our sine, we can see that the cosine has the exact value of negative square root of two over two. So this is the first question. The second is looking for the cosecant of negative seven pi over two. With the same sort of approach in radians here, we have a negative, so we'll be going in the opposite direction. We'll be going clockwise. And again, starting at zero, we have pi and two pi, with two pi being one complete revolution. A further halfway around would be the same as three pi, and seven pi halves is three and a half pi. So we have half a pi further this would be the location of negative seven pi halves, which is the same as a positive pi halves on the unit circle. So looking for the cosecant of negative seven pi halves will be the same as the cosecant of pi halves. And now that we have our coterminal point, we can see that the coordinates here at pi halves have an x value of zero and a y value of one, meaning we have a cosine of zero and a sine of one. Since we're looking for the cosecant, we know that the definition of a cosecant is that it is one over the sine. And we can see from our graph that the sine of negative seven pi halves will be the same as the sine of a positive pi halves, which is just one. So our cosecant is one over one or just one. So we have found the exact value for both of these trig functions.